Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The Patriots' recent signing is putting tremendous pressure on the Falcons' Jonu Smith. There is an inherent risk that every team takes when making a trade. We have seen time and time again a team trading assets for an underperforming player. Although on a relatively small scale, Patriots' recent signing could make Atlanta Falcons' Jonu Smith trade look bad also read. Atlanta Falcons' roster turnover over last three years is shocking at us, putting a lot of pressure on the Falcons, newest tight end, who appeared in New England after two extremely disappointing seasons. Shortly thereafter, the Pats signed Mike Jasicki to a bargain deal to pair him with Hunter Henry. Here we are in May, and they weren't done making their tight end space to grow when they brought in Anthony Ferkser, who played for the Falcons last season. ITS, not an ideal scenario for the Falcons, because they traded a draft pick for a player with a decent contract who hasn't he been good for the past two years played, and now the Patriots could make the Falcons look stupid. If Ferkser has better stats than Johnny Smith, yes, I understand it was only a seventh round pick, but they also accepted a fairly large contract tying up cap space that could have been used elsewhere. The good news is that it is extremely doubtful that Ferkser will surpass Johnny Smith. Ferkser was largely a disappointment for the Falcons last year, and is at best third on the New England depth chart. As far as Mike Jasicki goes, it is much more likely that ELL have good numbers. He is a talented player who has had some good performances in the past. However, the Falcons will likely use their tight ends more often than the Patriots. All in all, even if Jonu Smith doesn't top the Patriots' tight ends, it is not going to be the end of the world.